Did you know there aren't many places where you could get a lunch for $1.50 these days? That's just another good reason that shoppers go to Costco. The company is featured in the new issue of Bloomberg Business Week. The magazine's editor, Josh Tierengill, is joining us at the table. And Josh, let's talk about Costco, what makes it so successful other than free samples all around the store. I swear, you can <laughs> make a meal. I know. You can make a couple. Right? So, so, experience, so I know. It's, and it, people hold a little tray. That's right. Count me among a Costco yes. shopper. I, yes. have, I, I got a card. Yes, indeed. So it's the, true. The success of the place is really interesting because on the one hand, it really is the cheapest company in America. I mean, it doesn't have stores. It has a warehouse. Yeah. Uh -huh. It doesn't even have shelves. Uh -huh. It has what they call the steel. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the executive offices are pathetic. Uh -huh. There is no co word. there's no boardroom table and there's, long lines. It's a series of a bunch <laughs> of tables. There's no publicity. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it's remarkably generous to its employees. Mm -hmm. So to its customers, cheap yeah. is all that matters. Mm -hmm. To its employees, it pays them well. Yeah. Eighty-eight percent of their hourly workers get company-sponsored health care. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. five percent turnover, which is unheard of in What's their the retail business. What's the hourly wage? Do you know? So they're at about twenty-one dollars per hour on Whoa. average, which oh, in yeah. retail is just unbelievable. And the theory behind it is, if we can keep our our employees happy and keep them here, mm -hmm. um, customer service and a lack of turnover is going to make us much more profitable. But they they say that they try and limit um, price over cost to fifteen percent or less. So you say they make a lot of their money from the subscription, the fifty five dollar subscription That's for right. individuals. It's more for businesses. Yeah, yeah I mean about eighty percent of their of their revenue really is from those subscription prices. Um, they try and make it about fourteen percent overhead on any of their items. So whether it's the six hundred ounces of cranberry <laughs> juice <laughs> or yeah. the seven hundred rolls of toilet paper, they're really they're keeping it low, and they figure they keep it low because yeah. actually it takes a lot of time to figure out how to price things. Yeah. Yeah. You can lose a lot of intellectual energy if you're a business trying to figure out the right price. If you set a standard, it's kind of easy. Yeah, they even seem to be recession-proof. Their sales surged during the recession, did they not? That's right. They, you know, it's a natural business to benefit when people sort of right. tighten their belts. What they also did was they said to their employees, "We're not going to do layoffs and we're not going to do salary reductions." Mm. They approved a three-year, dollar fifty per hour raise because they wanted to keep all those people there. And the, the fact is that, you know, there's so much competition in retail right now that. If you lose a customer, they have so many places to go, to go. not just yeah. to Sam's Club or to Walmart, but to the internet. And so one nasty exchange all the way in the back of the store with a surly uh, customer, customer representative, yeah. Yeah. you can lose that. There's person. something to be said, though, about treating your employees well. I do believe they work harder for you and they're more loyal to you. Of course. Yeah. I mean, it's human no, but, but a lot of companies don't do that, Charlie. A lot yeah. of people, a lot of companies don't play their employees well and they, they don't. They don't warrant. They don't uh, get the best. Well, they don't, don't give them health insurance. Right. They don't. Exactly right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it sounds like an obvious thing, but it's not yeah. for a lot of companies. I think you make the point that Costco and other companies that have this employee-focused, you know, benefits and treat them well have done better through the recession. Mm -hmm. They absolutely have. And again, it's about turnover. It's about keeping your talent. It's about maintaining some level of yeah. presentation that's really important. Quickly, can the Costco formula go international? Uh, they have to go international. For growth, they're looking at Japan and Taiwan. Uh, they think that it's going to scale internationally. They have some product issues with uh, different deals in different places, but they're really uh, quite optimistic about it. Josh, thank you. Great to have you here.